Hi, a quick how-to video on using and setting up Smoothie Bike Arcade. So you've got your Smoothie Bike and attached to the left side of the wheel is a bracket and on there is a magnet. Um, it's a round circular silver metal object on there. If that's missing and there's just a little hole there, you can replace it with the wheel magnet that is supplied in your arcade pack. So with the magnet there, what you need to do is attach your sensor. This is the sensor that we use. It's numbered and it's got two sides. This side with the battery cover is the back and you want that facing out when you attach the sensor to the bike. The front is this side and you want that facing the magnet. There's a little notch at the top of the sensor, hopefully you can see it there, and you want to have the magnet positioned so it's passing right past that notch. So it goes on that way round and the rubber strap is what attaches it to the fork there, so you line it up so it's going to be passing like that, so as close as you can without it touching. rubber strap goes on and then you can move it with the rubber strap on you can move it so the magnet passes with about a millimetre of space so it's almost touching but not quite obviously you don't want it to hit as it goes around so once you think that's in position the first few times you run it past a red light will appear but that might have gone off um, while you've been playing around with it which it has in my case but hopefully that should be picking it up so next we go over to the computer. Now I've got a Mac here but the game will work on a Mac or a PC so what you need is your USB stick we supply that in the arcade pack you insert your USB into the computer on a Mac you don't need to install any drivers the, the USB works straight away on a PC when you insert the USB on the newer versions of Windows it, inst it installs the drive, it finds and installs the drivers automatically if it doesn't do that for any reason then the drivers are actually contained within the folder and in the written instructions it tells you how to, um, how to download those now you've got if you've got our PC laptop then this bike game folder version 1 will be on the desktop if you've downloaded the software yourself remotely then you should have this folder saved to your desktop once the USB sticks in and you've got the drivers installed double click the folder on a Mac you'll click double click run Mac on a PC you'll double click bike game dot jar you also need to make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of Java installed. Once you've got the Java installed and you've got the drivers for the USB, then you're ready to go. So I'll go run Mac, but again, if it was a PC, you double-click the bike game dot jar. So here we go. Double-click run Mac. There we go, that's the game loading. It'll take a couple of seconds. What you can do, this is the first screen you'll see, so you can create a session which you'll create for your event. So you'll type in the name of your event. And then you click start session. The next screen is the player select and here you can choose between one and two players if you've just got one bike make sure this one is selected and then you've just got the information for player one to insert if you've got two bikes with two sensors you can click two player and you can have two different players if you were having two player you would need to make sure you have different sensor IDs in the 
two sensor ID boxes. So you put the player's name in here and you put the right sensor ID and that's the number that is on the side of the sensor. Player 2, you put the player's name in and then the sensor ID that is on the other bike and on the other sensor so it needs to be a different number. So we've just got one bike here. So there we go, player 1. You just put a name in there. Then the person who's playing can choose what type of fruit they want to be. I'll go for the pear. And then you're ready to play. So at this point, you would make sure that you've got your smoothie ingredients loaded up. So that would be apple juice, usually one of our frozen sachets, or your own ingredients if you're using those. So you'd have your juice and your frozen fruit or fresh fruit in the blender jug. Lid on, and then you're ready to play. So... To play, you would click Start Blending. It counts down 3, 2, 1, and then the person starts going. The aim of the game is to control your character. In this case, mine will be a pair on a unicycle. And you want to keep the bottom of the wheel, the unicycle wheel, as close to the pink line, which has two hills in it, as possible. The closer you are keeping your wheel on that line, the higher the score you'll receive. And the way you control your character is you pedal faster to go uphill and slower to go downhill. So it's all about pedal control and skill, not about going as fast as you can. So I'm going to try and play while I film this. So let's click Start Blending. So it's counting me down three, two, one. And there you can see our character. There's driving up. You need to pedal slowly to go down the hill. So I'm pedaling really slowly. Then you need to pedal faster to go up. Slowly, slowly, ah. Oh, that wasn't very good there. Then it'll show you your score. 815, not very good. I'm sure the people at your event will do better. So after they've played, you can click continue. Then another person can play, you put their name in. You can also go down here to scoreboard and as more players compete, the scoreboard will fill up and you can scroll down next five, previous five, go up and down the scoreboard and see how everybody is doing, what position they're in in the event. Press close, then you go back and you can put another person in there. Um, the key thing in terms of managing the event is letting the competitors know how to play. So it's not about going as fast as you can, it's about controlling your speed, starting slowly and smoothly because the course is quite low at the start and then pedal faster to go up the hills, slower to go down and it's all about keeping the bottom of your wheel as close to your line or the, the line of the hills as possible. If you bang on that line you're going to get the highest score and you'll be the closest to the perfect smoothie blend as well. Right, so I hope everybody has fun. If you have any questions or need to speak to somebody because something isn't working, then you can contact Love Smoothie Bike. And our number is 0207 378 8332. Thank you. Bye-bye.